Today, a very delicate subject. Actors. Hi everyone, Simon here from Simon Says TV and welcome back to How to Become a Film Director. Today, well, you're nothing without good actors. A very delicate subject indeed, because that might mean that you're no longer going to give roles to your friends anymore. Those friends of yours who've been there since your very beginning. Those same friends who might be counting on you to help them kickstart their own acting career. Because let's face it, just the thought of it might be appealing to a lot of people. And after all, they might not have been there only for your beautiful eyes. They might have plans of their own too. Now, last time we saw that if you want to up your game, you have to surround yourself with very talented technicians. Well, the same applies with actors. Because no matter the most qualified team of technicians you may have, all of that could be a waste of time if you have bad actors. Because after all, your actors is by whom your story is told. Now, I don't want to make myself any enemies here, but that's how it is, right? Even if you have a good actor doing the performance of his life, all of that could be ruined if he plays alongside a not-so-good actor. Some other people would say that your movie is as good as your worst actor. Acting is so much more complex than one would think. We could be talking about acting for hours here and still have a lot to say, and we might not even have the same opinion about it. So that's why we're only going to be scratching the surface here today, just to make you realize how important it is in your productions. What you have to realize is that what might seem a very good performance by an actor from you or an average person might very well not be from the eyes or the ears of a trained one. Those same persons who are going to be judging of your movie afterwards. I would compare that to wine. For an average person like me, making the difference between a very good $40 bottle of wine and a $1,000 one, well, would probably be impossible. As for a well-trained wine taster, I guess it would probably be so obvious. So just a simple false note, a tone by an actor in his performance might go unnoticed for a majority of people, but could be so irritating from a trained one. Some famous film directors say that casting is 50% of their job means that by casting good actors, half of their job is done already, even before getting on set. Well, surely makes their life more easier. But by opposition to that, award-winning director Yves Simoneau says that casting bad actors might mean for you having to build their own performance, shooting them line by line and fixing it all in post-production, a thing you surely want to avoid. Good actors bring so much to their characters. They come so prepared and they know that everything is in the preparation. Actors like De Niro and Pacino, Meryl Streep, Daniel Day-Lewis, uh, Sean Penn, sometimes they emerge themselves in their characters months in advance if needed. No wonder why they're so good actors. Now, does it mean that all trained actors are good? Absolutely not. And it doesn't mean either that non-real actors are always bad choices. I've seen quite good performances by non-actors, and sometimes well, I've seen some not-so-convincing ones by real actors. One thing you should know is that acting has nothing to do with lying. Acting is all about telling the truth. As a matter of fact, liars in life usually don't make good actors. Honest people do. I've seen that and I've witnessed that many times in my career. Liars usually functions on patterns, prefabricated emotions, reactions that are easy to identify from the point of view of an honest person. A person who studies human behaviors all his life, like actors do. Of course, it all depends on the type of acting you want to have in your movie. Here, we've been talking about realistic acting, but it might not be what you want at all. Like famous film director Sidney Lumet once says, there's more than one type of acting, depends which one you're after. He was referring here to American acting that was, to him, the best acting in the world at the time. So those famous realistic actors, how to find them, how to make sure they're good, well, I'm going to tell you, but you're going to have to work for it. 
You're going to have to train yourself. You're going to have to go and attend at acting classes. You're going to have to go either acting class or workshops. Go and spend 40, 50 hours there, okay? Call a teacher. Ask him if you can go there. Maybe you will be able to go without, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's going to cost you money. I went as an actor, of course, and I paid. But go there and attend. You will learn a lot. You will learn the language of actors. You will learn... Uh, how an actor think. You will learn how to communicate with him. You will learn how to, to uh, there's something you want them to, to an action or a, a way you want them to, um, to, uh, to behave. You, you don't know how to tell them. You will learn that in an acting class. You will also refine your judgment towards little details that are so important and that sometimes become so big on screen. Maybe you don't notice them when you shoot, but if you know they're, if you're aware of them, you will see them right away while shooting and you will correct the situation right away. So go there and you will be a better film director, I'm telling you. You should learn acting, even if you don't want to act. See, people should stop thinking that acting is an easy thing to do and everybody can do it. Acting is more complex than that. Okay. Of course, a lot of people can do it and while with some kind of success, have fun with it but not with the same finesse and the same truth in their performance as a trained actor, a good one, would. Okay? I mean, it's just like diving from a, a three-meter board. A lot of people can do it and have some, well, some encouragements from, from their, their friends, but maybe not from a judge. Okay, next thing. Avoid casting too young. It's a common mistake. Everybody does it, especially at the beginning. People cast their 20 years old friend to play the role of a surgeon detective, a mafia leader, or an astronaut. But they're too young for that. We don't believe in it, so we stop watching. You're used to do that because you were doing films for fun. Now you want to be taken more seriously, so you have to do things differently. Go cast a 35, a 45, even a 60 years old man for those roles. And your friends should be playing roles of student or uh, gang members. It's their age. Every actor should know their own casting. It's rule number one for them. One thing important, everybody looks younger on screen. So better cast a little bit too old than cast a little bit too young. Also, by adding an older character to your movie, you will bring the credibility of your production from a couple of notches. There's no explanation for that. It's just how it is. It's a magical trick. You will go from a kid's movie to a more professional one by doing that. Remember that casting is what will keep your audience watching till the end. With a disposable media like internet, where your film will probably end up eventually, it's easy to stop watching if we're not interested. So try to keep the interest of the people by doing the right choices. So maybe you've written a script and uh, the story happens between younger people and there's no older character in your movie and you're ready to shoot. Well, look at your script again and it's probably quite easy to add one more character. It doesn't need to be a, an important one. Just It could be the mother, it could be the father or the boss of one of your main characters. And it could be a short, sh a short, a short scene, but just by his presence it will bring your movie to the next level and you will be taken more seriously. So now you know how to cast and you know how to identify good actors, go and make auditions. You have to make auditions. It's the only way around, okay? Place an ad on KGG, Craigslist or Facebook, wherever you want and make auditions. If ever you're short in time, you're pressed by time, at least watch demo reels. Every actors have a reel. If not, well, they're probably not real actors. And you will be surprised how many actors will be ready to play in your movie if the story is good and if the role you've written for them is a challenging one. Actors are looking for that. That's what they want. And if it's a short film, there's a lot of chances that they're even going to be ready to do it for free. Okay, so now you've found your actors and you found good ones because you knew how to do it. So maybe 50% of your job is done after all. So what you have to do next is plan a meeting, all of you guys together to break the ice, or better yet, plan a rehearsal. Most actors like rehearsals because it helps establish a relation of trust between you and them. 
a thing that is needed if you want to get the best out of them during shooting. And always stay open to their suggestions. Good actors sometimes know their character even more than you do. So always watch what they have to offer. Sit back, let them go, and adjust your vision if needed. But remember, less is always better. So we say less is more. Al Pacino once says that the best advice his mentor, Lee Strasberg, has given him was, Al, never go as far as you would like to. An advice Al says he wished his mentor would have been with him to remind him sometimes. Actors are balls of emotions, so sometimes they tend to let it all out when it's not necessarily needed. Most of the, of the time it is not. So pull back on your actors if you need to do that. Okay, so let's recap from the very beginning. Number one, we said train yourself to have a better judgment of what is good acting. Number two, avoid casting too young, a common mistake. Number three, add an older character to your story to bring the credibility of your story at a higher level. Next one, plan auditions or at least watch demo reels, the only way to judge of the performance of your actors. Next one, make rehearsals to get the best out of your actors. Next one, always be open to their suggestions. Good actors know their characters more than you do sometimes. The last one, but not the least, less is more. Now, what about your friends and all of that? Well, ask yourself, do your friends invest as much time and, and energy in their acting career than you do in yours? Are they good actors? If yes, well, don't change anything because there's nothing like working with friends. It makes one less obstacle to surmount. But if they're just looking for an easy way in or they, they're kind of lazy, well, maybe you have your answer. Or unless you want to make films just for fun, it's also a very legitimate option. But if you want to be more serious, you now know what you have to do. So go make films and come back for the next episode. See you next time. Ciao.